Hey y'all and welcome to my very first YouTube review video. Um, I'm so super excited you are here. Thank you so much for watching and just taking the time out of your day to support me. Um, this year has been a crazy, crazy journey with Sensi already and I'm just so excited to see what 2023 has in store for me and my family. Um, this first video that I'm doing is going to be a review of the 25 Bring Back My Bar collection that is going to be available in the month of January. And um, this collection of bars has like blown my mind this time. Um, so I've been a consultant again for the last two Bring Back My Bar collections. So like this is my third round. And this has been my favorite, like hands down my favorite collection so far. Um, there's so many that are going to be, are, I already know that I'm going to have to add to my club because I'm like, oh my gosh, these scents are like blowing my mind. Um, but I want to smell these for you guys and tell you guys my thoughts. Um, and I'm also going to read you the scent description and tell you guys like what Scentsy says about it. So let's get started. Okay, so first up we have Apple Press. This one is a very close, uh, like a close connection with Johnny Appleseed. I think that one is like really comparable to this one. Um, I think this one smells a little bit more like authentic apple. Oh, it's good. This one's really good. If you really like apple scents, then you're gonna like this one. Um, it's almost like you can smell the skin of the apple for this one. I like this one a lot. Um, Sensi says the description of this one is the smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the last full roses of summer, which I don't get any hint of floral in this at all. I just really, really love apple scents. And this is like a good staple apple scent. Um, and I, I like this one more than Johnny Appleseed. So if you smell Johnny Appleseed and you know you like that one, I would give this one a try just to see, just to compare the two and see which one you like more. That is the first one. Um, and next up we have Autumn Blaze Maple. Um, when I first smelled this one, I wasn't too fond of it just because... I think it's like the time of year I'm like kind of over the Christmas and like the fallish scents right now and I'm ready to get into more of like spring and fresh and like those kind of scents. But the more I smell it, the more I'm like, man, this would be a killer scent in the fall. It's like the first thing I smell is like the cinnamon and like the hint of maple. Mm, this is really good. This This is nice. It says... A bountiful harvest of crisp apples and earthy pumpkins. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely smell that, that now that I now that I like know that that's what it is. With golden maple syrup, warm cinnamon, and a ribbon of smoldering oak. Okay. Yeah, this one is nice. This one's like got a lot of um a lot of like layers to it. I can tell like warming this would be would be really good. And just a tip if you don't know this already. So the top of your bar is gonna smell different than the bottom. So sometimes I like to take it out and just sniff the bottom of the bar just to get more of a full picture of like the scent, if that makes sense. Huh, that makes sense, get it? <laughs> Next up we have Autumn Stroll. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys and give you guys my full thoughts and opinions. This one is not my favorite. Um, this one, is giving me like grandma's grandma vibes. <laughs> like, this one is like like grandma's perfume vibes. Is that that is what I'm like picking up from this one? This one, the Sensi says, is amble under a bright harvest moon, leaves crunching underfoot as peppery cinnamon mingles with dusty plum and warm wood incense. Okay. Okay, I can definitely get that actually the the incense kind of smell now that I read that. It's funny like Okay, yeah. I do I do smell that. If you like the smell of like incense, you would like this. If you're the kind of person who likes to warm incense or like burn incense, this is a good scent for you. It's like cinnamony, kind of smells like woodsy. 
and like a little hint of like smokiness to it a little. Okay, next up we have coconut palm. Um, and now the other night, me and my husband smelled these together and he smelled this one and immediately he said, I want our house to smell like this when we move to Florida. We have nine days until we move to Florida and I'm so excited to warm this in our house because this is like the perfect Florida scent. This is like straight coconut, like not mixed with anything, just straight coconut like this will be this is going to be a great mixer scent honestly um sensi describes it as a blend of tropical coconut and musky patchouli with subtle green notes i don't smell any patchouli in this honestly i smell just straight coconut like it smells like it smells like a coconut shampoo or something it's great this is like so good this is going to be a great mixer for spring and summer like i know that that one's probably already going to go in my club Okay, next up we have coconut pumpkin pie. So this one I have warmed up to. Ha, huh, get it? I haven't warmed any of these yet. So, um, hang on. Okay, next up we have coconut pumpkin pie. Um, so this one is kind of similar to a lot of the other pumpkin sweet bakery scents that we have right now. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, it's got the pumpkin and then the coconut. I don't really smell the coconut very much, but it's got, it's, it's a nice pumpkin pie scent. If you like pumpkin pie scents, if that is something that is like your go-to scent, then this is going to be up your alley and you're going to like it. I'm just not one that likes the pumpkin. It kind of has a lot of like the clove in it. So I'm not huge on cloves, but if you, if you like that smell, then you're going to like this. This is what Sensi says about it. It says, an unexpectedly exotic touch as a pumpkin puree, grated nutmeg, and maple sugar use are, oh, are heightened by a hint of coconut shavings is what it says. So that one's not club worthy for me. Obviously, it got voted back in the 25, so somebody must love it. It's just not my favorite. So, those were the first five. Okay, next five. Here we go. So, next up, we have Cranberry Muffin. This one is bursting with bright cranberries enveloped in a buttery brown sugar batter with nuances of walnuts and toffee. So, when I first smelled this one... It reminded me of, okay, this one like totally brought back a scent memory for me. Um, so in Idaho, me and my husband, we had a hookah and this reminds me exactly of a scent of blueberry shisha that we had. This is what it reminds me of, like exactly. It's a little bit more like sweet and kind of, um, kind of like bakery more, like has those notes of like the buttery the buttery like more muffin but like this is exactly what it reminded me of of like on first sniff but this one is really good i do like it is it club worthy for me probably not i have so many other bakery ones that i love more than this um like this next one crumb top oh my god this one is one of my favorites of all of the 25 bring back my bars this one is the perfect blend of oats, butter, and brown sugar to top your favorite dessert, y'all. This one is going to my club for sure. It's so good. Oh my gosh. It's like you can smell like the butter and like the oats. Oh my gosh. This one is amazing. Like highly recommend this one. Um, this one kind of reminds me of like Korean apple crumble, which I'm obsessed with right now. Um, it reminds me of that, but without like the crayon apple part, like this room, this smells like what just goes on top. Um, so I think this one is going to be a really great mixer to mix with like anything to give it that bakery feel. Um, so love that one. Next up we have cucumber lime. This one is cool, refreshing blend of mellow cucumber and tangy lime. This one is good too. Mm, this one is so fresh. Ah, 
this is good this one's gonna be a great spring scent i like this one a lot oh, i know a lot of other people were talking about this one in like one of my other scentsy groups like people were so so excited that this one finally got voted back um this one's gonna be a popular one for sure i can tell um that this one people are gonna love this it's very very refreshing and like has that hint of lime to it another one like i love this one okay next up we have flirtatious this one is fruity and vibrant a combination of green apple grapefruit and white amber this one is very perfumey, perfume-esque, if you will. Um, it's got that fruitiness to it. It reminds me of a really pretty perfume. Not necessarily my typical fragrance that I go for, but I think this would be really pretty, like, for the bedroom. Like, okay, this next one is a very unique scent. This one is Flower Shop, and this one is the description just says just like walking into a flower shop and I couldn't agree more that is exactly what it smells like oh, it's fresh it is very fresh and it, it's not really floral like you would um probably like you're probably thinking it's going to be it smells more like um grassy and like earthy and kind of like the stems of the flowers oh I like this one. I know a lot of people aren't going to like this kind of scent, but if you like more of like the earthy and like you like the smell of walking into a flower shop, you're going to like this. Like, I like it. I think it's fresh and like perfect for the spring. Like, I, I don't mind this at all. Like, I, I probably won't put it in my club, but I probably will get a couple bars of it for sure. Okay, next up we have fried ice cream. This one is described as vanilla with a nutty touch along with cinnamon and caramel. Now I'm going to warn y'all, I did not like this on first sniff. Um, it's not, it's very strong cinnamon. I was expecting it more to be more like on the creamy side um and smell more like that vanilla with the cinnamon but it's a very strong cinnamon smell i don't hate it um it's definitely it's different um let me smell the bottom let me smell the bottom and see it's got a lot of the cinnamon and nutmeg it's not what i was expecting but it's not horrible i'll probably warm it with something like vanilla bean buttercream just to tone it down on the cinnamon a little bit but if you're a cinnamon spice lover then you have to try this it looks a lot like the uh, apple butter frosting bar so i'm wondering if when i'm warming it if it'll smell a little bit different i want to warm this one and see if it if it, while it's warming the notes are different i'm, I'm intrigued by this one so We'll see when it's warming, what I think. Um, next up, we have a green tea smoothie. This one was one I was super, super excited to smell because I love those green tea scents. Um, this one is energizing green tea and fresh ginger with peach nectarine and cranberry. Okay. Mm, I like this one a lot. This one is very, very fresh. Ah. <sighs> I like the smell of green tea and it has those notes of like the ginger and I think that the peach and the nectarine and cranberry just kind of brighten it and make it more uplifting if you will. Oh I like this one a lot. Mm, I can't wait to warm this and see what this smells like warmed. Um, next up we have a really really good one hazelnut latte this is one of my favorites of the entire collection this one is described as frothy steamed milk toasted hazelnuts espresso and vanilla with a dusting of cinnamon i feel like this one is more along the lines of what i thought fried ice cream was gonna smell like but obviously this one smells like coffee too um but it has those creamy elements to it mm, this one is really really good it's hazel it's it's perfect it's just like you would expect a hazelnut latte to smell like 
And I know a lot of people have been asking me lately for coffee scents. I know, and there's another one coming up here in a minute. Um, that's another coffee scent. And I know these ones are going to be really popular. This one is probably going to be making its way into my club. It's that good. At the end, I'm going to tell you guys my favorite six. And I, I believe, unless I unless I need to do 10. There's a lot of a lot of them that I love, y'all. So this is one of them. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm, this makes me want to have a hazelnut latte. Okay, next up we have a Mediterranean spa. And this is one that I have actually smelled before when I was a consultant previously. So I was a consultant back in 2017 through 2018-ish. Um, and this was one that was around then. Um, so I have smelled this and I do remember really loving this scent. And it was, the, the scent description is relax with this smooth, fresh, and breezy scent. Okay. Mm. This smells like what you would want to smell walking into a spa. Like, exactly. Like, Mmm, this is so good. It's got like hints of lemon. Oh, it's so good. This is so good. Oh, I don't even know how to describe this. This is like perfection. Mmm, if you love scents that are like calming and like energizing at the same time, this is, this is really good. It's kind of got that aquatic, aquaticness to it. Mm, that's great. I this is this is great. This is really good. I love that one. Okay, next up we have melon and apple granita. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this might be my number one for the whole entire collection. This one is one of my favorites. Um, I remember just reading the name, I remember that I love this. Okay. Crisp apple and sweet melon surge with sparkling citrus. This one's really good. Oh, y'all, if you like fruity, oh my gosh, you have to get this. If you don't get any other bar in this collection, this one. You have to get this one. Oh my gosh. And look at the, how pretty the color is. Like, look at that orange peachiness color. Oh my gosh. This one is for sure going in my club. I know I feel like I've said that quite a few times. Oh, this is so good. It's, it's the perfect melon with like citrus and a little hint of apple. It's delicious. I love this. Next up, we have pear blossom and cucumber. And this one is described as resplendent garden, ref flourishing with delicate pear blossom, rain kissed jasmine, honeydew and Meyer lemon smoothed by a splash of cucumber water. Now, when I first smelled this, this reminded me a lot of the Ariel Under the Sea um, bar. It is very, very close to that one, which is already in my club, but I will say I think I like this one more. Um, this one is a little bit more sweet and a little bit less floral than the, the Ariel Under the Sea Bar, which I, I love that one so much, but I think I like this one just a tad bit more. Um, that bar, oh my gosh, I fell in love with that Ariel Under the Sea Bar and I added that to club immediately. Um, that is one that I go through so fast because that's just one that I love to have in my house. Um, it's fresh, it's like aquatic, it's very uplifting. I That's just one that I love to have. So I know I'm going to warm this one and see what I think. I'm going to compare the two and then I'm probably going to decide on one or the other for adding it to my club but this one is a definitely a strong contender for sure it's really really good okay next up we have peppermint rush and this one is peppermint sweet vanilla and a, and an accord of freshly fallen snow now I have been in love with the candy cane buttercream lately but this is just like straight peppermint yeah, this is very strong peppermint. If you like peppermint, like if you are a peppermint person, th you, this is right up your alley. It's very strong. It's probably one of the stronger peppermint smells that I've ever smelled since you make. 
it's good. Um, it's not one that I would reach for all the time. I'm not a huge into peppermint, but I mean, it's giving me, it's like energizing me as I smell it. So if you like peppermint, give this one a try. Next up, we have Perk Me Up. This is another one that's going to energize you immediately. This one is the other coffee scent that I was just talking about. This one is described as simply the perfect cup of coffee you'll ever experience. A strong brew of Guatemalan coffee beans and just a touch of hazelnut. Now, when I saw that they had this one and hazelnut latte, I was like, how different can they be? Because they're very similar. The other one has hazelnut in it also, but this one is way more just basic, like the smell of brewing coffee. It's really delicious. Like the people that have been asking me for coffee scents, you're going to love this. I, I really, really like this one. Oh. Um, I think it'd be a really fun mix to mix this one with hazelnut latte and see how that does. But I really, I really enjoy this. Um, I'll probably pick up a couple bars of it and see what I think while it's warming. And we'll see if I think it's club worthy after I warm it. We'll see. But strong contender for club also. Next up, we have Pima Cotton. This one is a light, clean blend of lilies freesia and jasmine oh my gosh I like this one too <laughs> this is so bad I have so many that I'm like obsessed with this one is classic um laundry fragrance um it reminds me of clothesline a lot it's like if clothesline and I want to say pink cotton it's almost like if clothesline and pink cotton had a baby that's kind of what this is like giving me vibes of but I like this. It's very strong. I'm curious to warm it and see like just how strong it is because some laundry fragrances for me can be too strong. Um, clean breeze for me is, is too, it's too much. Clothesline I know for some people can be too much, um, but that is like my preferred laundry scent that I like to do in my laundry room. But I'm very curious to warm this and see what I think. But this is, if you love laundry scents, this one's going to be for you. Next up, we have Quiver. And this one is Innocent Vanilla Flower Warm Sandalwood and Sultry Night Blooming Tuberose in a Seductive Scent, meant to cause a shiver of delight. I'll smell it on camera. I just, I don't like this one. I'm going to be totally honest. I know y'all are probably shocked because I've been like, I love this one. I love this one. One after another, but this one... It's not my cup of tea. Um, it's it's um, very um, musky, which I don't mind a lot of musky scents, but this one, it's kind of like floral, musky. Um, I, I think it's the tuberose that I don't love because I love vanilla and I love sandalwood. This one, it's um, it kind of reminds me of satin sheets a little bit, like kind of that same vibe. So if you like satin sheets, which I know a lot of people do, then you'd probably like this one. It kind of reminds me of, there's another scent that I can't remember the name of that it's reminding me of too. Um, I don't know. Mm, it's a, it, it would be a good bedroom scent, but just not for me. It's just not my, just not my favorite. So. Okay, last five. Here we go. Um, next up, we have Rum Raisin Cookie. This one is freshly baked cookie dough, scrumptiously spiced with rum, raisin, and clove will transport you to the corner bakery. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Um, it's, it's perfect. It smells just like gingerbread. Sometimes I think that um, some of the bakery cinnamon scents um that Scentsy does can be a little bit overdone with like the spice um or like they have a weird note because of the clove because I'm not a huge I don't like the smell of cloves very much but I like ginger and I like cinnamon but this one is like perfect I don't really smell the clove too much it's more of like cinnamon and like mm and like cookie dough. It's like cookie dough. It's, it smells like a rum raisin cookie or like a gingerbread cookie. 
it's good. I like this one a lot. I can't wait to warm this and see what it smells like. It reminds me kind of a lot of apple butter frosting, which is one that's in my club that you will hear me rave about if you stick around because that one, I go through that so fast. I only have one bar of it in my club and it didn't come back for this fall and winter season, which it usually does. And like, I wish I would have known because I would have added way more bars of it. Okay, next up we have Spiced Berries. This one is Frankincense and Myrrh. Um, beneath Decadent Berries to create a timeless scent. I don't like this one either. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Um, I don't know what it is about this one, if it's the Frankincense and Myrrh or what, but um, it's just giving a weird note for me. Um, it probably is the Frankincense and Myrrh. I don't know. I just am not digging this. It's very, um, it, it smells like, um, it smells like Christmas sort of, but I don't know the, I don't know how to explain this one, why I don't like it. I just, it's one of those scents. I'm just not loving the combo. I think, um, yeah. Spice berries, just not one of my favorites. Next up, we have Sticky Cinnamon Bun. This one is cinnamon and sweet icing with warm, nutty nuances. Now, this is one that I was very excited to smell, just like fried ice cream. I love the bakery scents. Um, this one kind of just missed the mark for me. Another one that just was like, mm. it's, um, I don't know what it is in this. It's just not... It's not giving me sticky cinnamon bun. It's just giving me cinnamon. Just just straight cinnamon and like strong cinnamon at that. Like same with the fried ice cream. This one is kind of giving me like cinnamon bear vibes, which I know a lot of you guys love cinnamon bear. That's it's obvious it's one of our best sellers. It comes back every year. This is what that's giving. And maybe it's just because I've smelled so many of them at this point, but wow. Um, yeah, another one that's just not gonna, not gonna make it into my club, but who knows, maybe when I warm it, it'll be different. We'll see, and I will report back. Um, but as of right now, sticky cinnamon bun, not my favorite. Next up, we have vanilla cream. This one, I love. This one is perfection. This one is French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. This one reminds me of one we had last January for Bring Back My Bar, just the Simply Vanilla. And I kicked myself over and over for not adding that one to my club because a vanilla, just plain vanilla, is a really good mixer. Um, and this one, I am for sure going to add this to my club. This is delicious. Oh, it's creamy and vanilla and just like straight vanilla. Like I love this one. Mm. Yes, I love this one so much. And this will be a great mixer. So, um, and right now we have vanilla scent. Like we have vanilla bean buttercream, but that one is much more sweet. This one is, it's, it's, it's sort of sweeter, but it's just more like vanilla and creamy. It's not necessarily like super sweet. So, I love this one. Okay, and lastly, we have Woodland Suede. I was gonna say last but not least, but um, in this case, it might be the least. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't like this one. This one is uh, described as retreat to a tranquil wooded wonderland, redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, suede, musk, and bright winter lemon. Um, this one, it's a very manly scent. Um, it's kind of a sweeter manly scent, if that makes sense. It's musky. It smells like the woods. This would be a good one to gift to a man who has a warmer man cave. Like, it smells like an older gentleman is what this smells like. Um, it's, it's a fine scent. It's just not my favorite. It's not one that I love. Um, it's not one that I will probably buy. Um, but it's decent. Like if you like that manly cologne-ish woodsy scent, then give this one a try. You probably will like it. It's just not my favorite. Um, and that is all of the bars. So we sniffed through all 25 of the bars. 
Um, and now I'm going to give you guys my top six that I am obsessed with, that I'm in love with, and that I would highly recommend. Okay, my top six in no particular order because I really love these so much that I could not put them in any kind of order. Um, crumb top, like bakery lovers said amen everywhere. Like this is really, really good. Um, vanilla cream that I just talked about, I just couldn't, I can't stop sniffing this one. And if I can't stop sniffing it, I know that it's going to be one that I'm going to use all the time. Like if I, oh, I just, I love this. Love it. Crumb top, vanilla cream, melon, apple, and granita, fruitiness. And this is going to be, it's just so great for the spring. I love this. Mm, delicious. Melon, apple, and granita. Then we have pear blossom and cucumber. Again, like I said, I think that this might replace Ariel Under the Sea. So that one's just amazing. Um, and then we have hazelnut latte. I love this one too. This is just so good. It's like bakery and coffee unite and it's just perfection. And then lastly, my sixth favorite bar of the Bring Back My Bars, Cucumber Lime. Um, this one is just so fresh, fresh and fruity and just this is like so good. This reminds me of, um, I don't even know. There's like something this is just giving me nostalgia about that I just, I'm loving this. I just love that. So those are my top six that I would recommend that are my top favorites. Of course, there was others that I loved, obviously. Um, yeah, I could probably do a top 10, but that's, we're just going to leave it at the six for now. Um, yeah, so these are all going to be available January 1st through the 31st, um, one month only y'all. So if there was any that you were listening to that you were like thinking, oh my gosh, I'd love for my home to smell like that. I need to try that out. Um, just let me know. I'm going to be taking pre-orders for these, um, or they're, they're going to be available the whole month. I will be putting my link in the description. Um, and remember that uh, bars are three for 17, six for 30. Or if you do want to try all of the 25 bars, it's $124, which is, I believe it's a $24 saving. So it's really good deal for 25 bars. It will last you a really long time and you'll get to try out all 25 bars. So um, let me know what you think below. Comment below what you think your favorite bar would be. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching um, and uh, come back here for more videos in the future. Um, I will be doing um, some sniffs of the new Valentine's Day collection that is coming out. I'm going to be doing some sniffs of those and any future um, collections that are coming out. I plan on reviewing here for you guys as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button down below to help boost this video. Um, and again, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.